Morning, I'm John Thielen. Today on Fish Ed, man, we got a beautiful day out here. I mean, look at it, it's just flat, calm, and it's gonna be sunny and nice all day long. But I'll tell you what, sometimes that can create some pretty tough fishing conditions. But we're gonna show you a few tips and tricks on how to use what happened yesterday in your favor today when you get a day like today. Stay right where you're at, Fish Ed's coming up. thinking to myself that I think some of these fish are out off the edge this morning. Boy, and then this fish bites, you know, then there's another one under me right there. So let's see, you know, I mean, it, it gets a little trickier when you don't got that wind to know where it's, where those fish are going to get pushed to. And, and we don't have that today. I mean, we just have flat, calm seas today. And, and a lot of times that means you just got to do more looking and the fish aren't moving as much. So sometimes it's a little harder to come across them. See if we can get this guy. Got him. Let's see what we got here. Feels like he might be a pretty decent fish. Especially now, you know, they get a little closer to the boat like that and all of a sudden they see a little bit of daylight and they get a little tougher, you know. Let's see what we got. Good eater size fish. Come here, buddy. Nice 16 inch walleye. Not a bad way to start our morning here. This fish right here, he's, he's relating to something totally different than what you would expect. This fish right here, he's sitting on a spot and he's sitting in an area on the spot that's based on what was going on yesterday. See, here's what, here's what we had going on. We couldn't even fish yesterday. The wind was blowing so hard. And what happened was all these fish, they get moved in that situation. They move to, to where the wind is blowing that bait. And as soon as they get to where they're, they've got all that bait and they can eat consistently all day long. Walleyes like that one right there and bigger fish, smaller fish, whatever it may be, they get themselves comfortable on that spot. And what's happened here now is this morning we wake up to a totally different world. There is no wind. There is no real thing that's making fish move because you see the, minnow is, the minnows aren't moving because the wind's not moving the minnows. Therefore, the fish aren't moving. And what I'm finding is that they're just laying in little spots. But there's one thing that I'm finding that makes all the difference right now so far. And that is they're all laying on yesterday's windward side because you got to realize all those fish moved over there to eat because the bait was being pushed up against that side of the structure. So all I've done today, I mean, I've driven all the way around this structure. Haven't found fish anywhere except for on the same side that the wind was coming into yesterday. That can make a huge difference. Playing yesterday's wind, when you wake up to these bluebird skies, the front's over, all of a sudden everything's flat. Look on the side where the wind was blowing into yesterday. And a lot of times what you'll find is that's where the fish still are because there's no reason for them to leave yet. They're still sitting there because the bait is still in that neighborhood. The bait hasn't wandered off totally yet. So the walleyes aren't gone yet. And that fish right there, he's sitting right where he was yesterday, most likely with all that wind coming in. And if we can get a, if you can get a pattern like that going, you can put fish together. You can put it together a real good day, even on these flat calm days that can get really tough. Is that a tentative little bite? Got him. Ooh, that feels like pretty good fish. Huh. One of the most tentative bites of the day. Boy, this feels like a pretty good fish. It just goes to show you that when these fish get a little off like this, oh yeah, this is a great fish right here. 
Just goes to show you though, when these fish get a little bit off, they'll they'll just be tentative. They'll just they're they're just not in that huge running around, eating everything, crushing everything mode. They're just getting a little smaller, but you know what? Still a good fish. Come here, buddy. Oh yeah, good walleye. Come here, bud. Oh jeez. That's one of the things about trying to do everything yourself. <laughs> I lifted this fish right over the top of the net. <laughs> Look at that. That's great eye right there. Come here, buddy. Look at that. That's a great fish. Gotten a bunch of these today. A lot of fish this year class in the system I'm fishing today. Let's get this guy unhooked and, and then let me, let me show you what I'm using. And, in the meantime, I'll tell you a little bit about it. It's, it's pretty simple. I'm just using Lindy Rig. And this is the 50th anniversary of the Lindy Rig. And we're going to talk a lot about that this year on Fish Ed because I love the Lindy Rig fish. This is one of the ways I grew up fishing, whether I was on Mille Lacs Lake in central Minnesota or Leech Lake up north or wherever it was that I was fishing as I grew up. Man, we, we liked to Lindy Rig. It was one of our favorite ways to fish. And it's been that way for a lot of people. That's why over 40 million Lindy rigs have sold over the years. That's a great fish right there. Let's get him back in the water. And I'll show you what I'm using here. This is one of the brand new 50th anniversary snells. I'm using the crawler leech version today. And it, it comes in a two hook crawler version, but today I'm using the single hook crawler leech. And what that is, is a package that looks just like that. It's gonna come with five snells, and you can get this configuration right here in, in 10 feet long. It's eight pound fluorocarbon on this one. And you can also do number four or number six hooks. Now today I'm using the number four. Um, a lot of that's just because I'm fishing a little bit bigger bait. The fish don't seem to be bothered by it. I, I'll always try to go with the biggest hook I can, and then I'll work my way backwards from there. But every single one of these has the fluorocarbon line, so the fish don't see it nearly as well and they all have a bead. So if you're getting the red hook version, you're getting a glow bead. If you get the glow hook version, you're gonna get an orange bead. You can also get it in chartreuse with a glow bead, and then you can get it in pink with a glow bead. So no matter what, we got you covered in colors and sizes. And then the other thing about it is, because you got this 10 foot snell to start with, you can just trim it to whatever you want. Now today, you can look at what I got here. I got a seven foot rod, and I probably got another foot and a half. So ultimately what it's taken me today is about a nine foot Lindy rig to get the job done. But you can trim it to whatever length you want. Let's see if we can't get us another one. There's one. Got him. It's a good fish right here. I'm gonna actually slow boat down just a little bit. It's one of them deals where once we kind of dialed this in, it got a lot easier. And, and it, you know, every day these things change a little bit. And one of the things that's happening too is as the day's going on, this, this is a real good fish. These fish are getting more and more active. And, and, you know, when I say active, I don't mean that they're crushing it. They're not biting that hard. This fish didn't bite that hard. But what they are doing is they are committing to some baits versus watching them just go by. Look at this one. This is a giant. Wow. Wait till you see this one. Look at this eye. Wow. What a fish. This is one of those fish that you just don't get to catch every day. What a beautiful big walleye. Wow, look at that fish. That is just awesome. You know, some of these fish are getting going now. We've caught some of those medium sized fish. We've caught some small fish today. But let me tell you, part of what I would say is starting to happen is these bigger fish are starting to turn on too because now we're starting to see a little bit more activity on the graph. I'm starting to see just a little more here and there. And when I say activity on the graph, a lot of what I'm talking about is bigger fish will graph a little bit differently. And this fish here, you know, I saw these fish when I went by them. There were a couple of them and they looked bigger. 
and obviously she is. Look at that. What an awesome walleye. <laughs> that is just awesome. That's cool. All right, big girl. Get you, body. 